happening let's get right into it uh it's the second installment if you're with me again thank you very much for listening um first thing i want to do is apologize to uh any family members or close friends that may have been listening that felt they weren't ready or didn't ever need to know that there was such a thing as a uh, frog mouth monkey rape so I'm going to go ahead and apologize for that. There was no frog mouth monkey rape warning at the beginning or anything. I just kind of hit you with it. So, uh, all apologies. That being said, on this week's uh, frog mouth monkey rape segment, I'm just kidding. There's, there's no segment. Um, where do we where do we begin? Not a very busy week. Uh, UFC 160 predictions. I got all of them sort of right. Except for uh, TJ Grant proving me wrong. Knocking out Gray in the first round. Maybe catapulting himself to a title shot. Kane, JDS. Three will be happening, as I predicted. Uh, That should be a good one. First Kane JDS knocked him out 64 seconds, I believe, Dos Santos did to take the title. And uh, after laying one on him in the first round, Kane pretty much destroyed Dos Santos for five whole rounds in the second one. So should be interesting to see how they both come out in the third. Um, uh, Kate Zingano blew out her knee. She's not going to be coaching against Ronda Rousey and the Ultimate Fighter anymore. They uh, brought in Zingano's last opponent, Misha Tate, who has history with Rousey and blah, 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 good TV. That's all. Uh, And that's it on uh, MMA for all of you people that listen that uh, just like to hear about music and shit like that. So that's all. Speaking of music... Good segue. Uh, you ever notice how the people driving the car that has the loudest, best sound system always has the worst taste in music? It's uh, always, always noticed it. It's always perplexed me. Like, I guess if you have bad taste in music, you don't necessarily know it. But just once, I want to hear the booming from four blocks away and have them get up next to me and have some Modest Mouse blasting there or some Tom Waits going in the trunk, blowing it out, making the mirrors rattle. Little Tom Waits. But no, it's always the same. It's always that guy with the cough, the bad lungs. Uh, wheezy, yeah. Didn't. So, you know, I was thinking about not necessarily that today. That was a brief, brief moment of my time, but I was thinking about music in the last 20 years and how it kind of. We're in a really good era right now where the landscape keeps changing, so there's always something new to do. It's kind of like uh, the 50s and the 60s segueing into the seven the early 70s where where rock was just beginning and it was it was an all new world to explore and uh and create with and you know in the last 20 years it seems technology has just exploded and there's been a rapid improvement you know, year by year and music's able to just follow along with that and there's always there's always something new to do uh there's always a new route to take and i think we're in a good i think we're in a good golden age right now every you know every once in a while music's always good every once in a while there's a slight hiccup like the 80s you know that that you people listen back and just think what the fuck you know and uh and 
think we're I think we're in a really good time right now. If you don't agree that the 2000s are are a a golden age in music, then you're not looking hard enough. You're not digging deep enough, and you're just listening to what people tell you to listen to. You got to change that shit up. Do a little digging. That's where the good stuff is. I promise it's out there. Ooh, ooh, rap's dead. No, no, rap sucks now. No, just the shit you listen to sucks. There's good shit. Uh, I I always thought for years that uh that just I I was the same I was the same person you hear. Well, I like all kinds of music except for country. That was that was pretty much my standard answer and uh but but I stayed open minded and I l- looked and listened and I gave it all a chance everything that I heard I gave it at least you know a brief chance and uh after years and years I finally found my equivalent of underground hip hop in underground country with uh these guys like uh Hank Williams the 3rd and Wayne the Train Hancock, great voices, great songwriting, storytelling. You know the you know if you get used to. If you're a music fan, you dig banjos and violins, fiddles, and and sound just just different music slide guitars. It's awesome. It's all you know. Music is all encompassing, and if if you're writing the right things, and you're trying to be original. I don't think you can do any wrong. There's going to be somebody out there that digs your shit. So, it is what it is. It's always there. You just got to dig for it. Can't just uh you can't be, you know, spoon-fed. How many stupid people do you know as opposed to how many smart people you know? I bet the ratio is pretty bad. I'm thinking 90% dumb fucks. 85 percent huh you know I'm right so therefore you can't trust what's popular because who's telling you that the popular vote the 90 percent dumb fucks any of my friends listening to this are thinking Jesus fucking Christ is he going over this again they've heard it time and time before but maybe somebody out there hasn't so yeah yeah I am but anyways, back to the point. I'm just trying to say the last 20 years and it's going to continue to get faster and faster. I'm curious to see how it happens, but it's just music has always had a new avenue to go down. I think it always will. Um if I could, you know, if I could predict the way it was going to go, I'd be a rich motherfucker cuz I'd already have the new super guitar instrument made ready to go for when the American people are ready for it. Ready to make my meals. Um, but yeah. And, you know, and before anybody tries to defend the 80s, I know there was good music in the 80s. I know something came, something good musically came out of it. I'm here, for God's sake, so I was born in the 80s. Um, hey, f- folks, I'm here all week. Uh, anyways, you know. There's always going to be hiccups, too. I, I imagine in the next 30 to 40 years, we're going to get a decade of just shit music. Just just garbage. And, uh, you know, suicide rates will go up. Job employment down. You know, the world, world it'll, it'll be because of some, some hip new drug like cocaine just ravaged the 80s music scene. Just made everybody think that... The, that they were a musician when they got a keyboard. Um, you know, I'm, I don't want to pick on the '80s here, but you know, well, the the '20s. What about the '20s? Nobody makes fun of the '20s. I bet that was shit music. You know, people still listen to jazz and blues and folk and country and and you know what there was in the you know starting to happen in the '30s and '40s, but. Nobody has you know, queued up, ready to go for their jog. 
but you know and before that the time gets a little fuzzy but there was all the great composers you know so maybe the other early 1900s weren't, weren't uh they weren't worried about music they were worried about trying to blow each other up and whatnot and what have you uh speaking of music the one I'm going to play for you this week, it uh, doesn't have a title yet. You listen to this, you like the song, maybe comment me a title or send me one. Uh, but as of now, it is untitled. It is with my close, close friend, Absorbed, who is the best rapper that I personally know. And... Uh, this is when, when we get together. It's a fun one. We're just rapping. I used to sit there and just listen to beats. A homegrown or a phony and definitively won't get in it. Let them pigeonhole me. And you can spit all your dreams, but keep it riveting. It's pivotal be. I can't explain it. The feeling that I get with the microphone. Settle in with the pad and pin. Then I find a home. Come to grips a bit with what's rattling inside my dome. A gaze that will make you decide to leave my type alone. Another blank page to fill. I'm all game in the mix. I'm the one who don't feel my own shit till it's proper. Another cat pawn at the saucer. Foster, kid a hip hop off the top rocker. A no monster, constantly involved, nonchalantly. Going over those with no balls in the stall, pissing cheap. You're in burping up your weed smoke, cheaped up. Wonder where the fuck am I seen? Don't be slow when I'm done with this shit, because you'll be the ones. It's a shame that they missed us. Sink it at the buzzer with the fadeaway kiss, but it's the same. You won't remember my name because you lit up. But this time I'm two sheets to the wind with the grin, like a mean shit. Rubbing down the game. Will I live? Will I die? My paranoia and a high got me toying with a dose of liquor citizens can't buy It's the riddle in the sky, got the glitter in your eye Ain't nothing wrong with the hype that's getting you by You need to cool your rage with the music for a little bit Calm down, homie, have a beer, have a cigarette Come on up next to the stage, this shit is bumping Go outside and smoke it to ash like it was nothing Not concerned with keeping it crunk or staying fly But spitting mine and killing off the swagger with style Never dry, stay soaked in dope like cheap cigarettes And ease by your facts and please with my belligerent squeeze like triggers that trigger retaliation leave with the freedom of reaching determination my turns wait and learn to curve bases confirm fate first exert my firm faith in the first day plot to further my work creation first come get served murder by language yeah motherfucker yeah you're probably not as good as we are. Yeah, it's a simple fact. I'm sure there's something you're great at. But, yeah, we're better rappers. Um, Oh, if you like that shit, check out uh, soundcloud.com slash admire music. Like one word, all lowercase. Uh, that's where you can find my shit. Uh... Offhand, I don't know Absorbs, but it will be in the description, so you can check his ass out too. Well done. Check check his music out. Check his ass out if you want to. I'm sure it's very nice. Um, but check his music out mainly is, is what I was trying to get across. So that'll be in the, the uh, description. I'll make sure and get that in there. But I'll probably forget. Either way. I'll, I'll put it on like a week later. That's how I do it. I'll forget for a week. I don't remember. Uh, um, Twitter.com slash Danny Admire. Also, while I'm at it, I might as well take care of that. So, uh, oh, and uh, alert. It's about to get a little blue. Sometimes there's things I like to talk about or I would like to talk about that, uh, you know, some people just don't want to hear. Frankly, I don't give a shit. Press pause, press, press fast forward. I don't care. You're listening because you probably know how I am already. So either way, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not warning people anymore before I, before I go for it. Uh, yeah, every time I'm out and about, 
I have this problem. Anytime I see an elderly woman, and by elderly I mean, you know, north of 60, I just, something, something's wrong with me. I, uh, my, the first thought that goes through my head when I see an elderly woman is I wonder when the last time was she gave head to somebody. Now, now stick with me here. Let me explain. Okay, I have no explanation. Uh, it's just what I think. I'm fucked up. Big deal. Um, I don't know why, you know, but, but part of me think, you know, I just think, uh, when was the last time, you know, was it, was it 30 years ago? Has she not blown anybody for 30 years, really? Or does, you know, does granny give a little? It's just, I, it's not something I can help, you know? It's like when I, when I see a stop sign, I think the words stop in my head. When I see an old lady, I think, when's the last time she sucked a dick? Yeah. What are you going to do? It's a simple cause and reaction. You know, it's, it's, it's an animal instinct reaction that my brain does. I cannot help it. I'm a slave to it, in fact. It takes up most of my day, actually. Just sitting there thinking about these things. Yeah, I mean cause and effect like uh when when somebody says you're welcome to me before i get a chance to say thank you my brain thinks cunt assuming that uh not, not saying it's gonna be a woman that always does that but everybody's a cunt in that case uh you know, it's like it's like patting yourself on the back before somebody else gets a chance to. You can't do that. You you can't give a donation and and then do a press conference just by yourself, talking about how how awesome and charitable you are. It's not the way it's supposed to work. You're supposed to do good things without expecting to be noticed. That's what makes it a good thing. Any other way, it's just self-serving. And it's sad, really. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Just yakking. People say, God. But then, seriously. Like somebody, somebody uh, brings you a piece of pie, for instance. Mmm, Pie. They hand you the plate. They look at you and say, you're welcome. It's like, first off, you're like forcing me to say thank you through just clenched teeth. Second of all, it's so cunty. It's right there, right up there next to if you hold the door for somebody and they just breeze right by you without acknowledging that you held the door for them like a fucking asshole. Those those are are uh, two of two of the cuntiest things you could do to somebody in public that that aren't violent or boundary crossing. Um, you know, just it's just a little acknowledgement, and in the other case, just a little time for me to say thank you. I was gonna say it. Now you're now you're forcing upon me. Like I'm a child. That's all on that.
Anyways, all right, we're back again. <laughs> back again. Um, joining me right now is a good friend of mine for, uh, I think we figured it out, to 15 years or something, 12. Roughly. Good God. <laughs> okay, anyways, this is my, my 16, good friend, 16, Nate. 17, 16, 15. Yeah, that's, 15. that's too long. I mean, it's not, not too long. Anyways, my good friend, Nate, from school, we, uh, we actually work together now. And uh, he's joining me today to to discuss a few subjects and, and talk about his his dreams and aspirations <laughs> as a human being and uh, whatever else comes to mind. So here I am. Don't be an asshole and just listen to the rest <laughs> of it. That's all. Uh, anyways, Hello. so Nate, um, mm. you work with me. You went to you went That's to high right. school with me. That's right. Um, so that's that's pretty much the only remarkable thing about you, I guess, is that you <laughs> that you attended the same school as I did. Never despise the day of small beginnings. That's what I always like to say. <laughs> that's what I say. Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, one of the things that that Nate might you know he feels kind of passionate about. I mean, not not you know holding a sign or throwing a cock Molotov at something passionate, but. Definitely bitching it, but yeah, yeah, he'll he'll bitch, um, which is one of my favorite things to do. So <laughs> that's, that makes sense that we're yeah. friends. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, the pussification of America, if if you will, is one way to put it, and it seems to be the best yeah. way I can think of. I don't know if yeah. you have another, any other term. Um, Good enough. And and that's basically uh, dudes being bitches. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't. That doesn't mean it's everywhere. That doesn't mean bitch as in a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah, and exactly. and you're a misogynistic misogynistic asshole for thinking so. Yeah, we don't are. mean that. We mean bitch by just just like you're a whiny bitch, right? You know? Does whatever happened to just when somebody was just yeah. a whiny bitch? We're not referring to bitch the noun. We're referring to bitch what the verb, right? No, that would be what is it? Too bitch. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Phone call. Nate's getting a phone My call. Father. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna be good. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. What are you doing? Well, my phone's all screwed up. What? But I figured I'm on my. Hold on a sec. Hold on just a second. Now. Hold on just a second. <laughs> what? What'd you say? I have headphones on. I can't talk on my phone regularly. <laughs> what are you what? The oh, your your speaker went out in your in your the headset part. In my what? The headset. Your speaker went out, like in the phone. Oh. How do you fix it? Okay, try putting your phone on speakerphone. Nate's going oh, into tech that. support with his dad. Right now. Put it on speakerphone. Take the headphone jack, or take the headphones out. Yeah. yeah. Most exciting part. Yeah, it works day. perfect. Yep, you have lost Painter by your day, speaker. Tech support <laughs> man by night. Because there's two speakers. There's one for your ear, and then there's one in the speakerphone. So the ear one went out. My ear one did? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> your ears are fine, Dad. It's your phone. Yeah, my speaker went out? Yeah, no. Yes, it's a speaker. How do I fix it? I just uh, have to spin it in, huh? It could, could be anything. I mean, it could be hardware, it could be software, could be an alien. He's like, all right, I got what I need. <laughs> oh, fuck you. He just, as long as like, he realizes that you're fucking with him. Yeah. He was fuck definitely you. trying to take it off speaker. <laughs> Push it off. Button. So, yeah, that was my dad. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what happened? Sorry about that. I hung up on you. <laughs> we figured. Into the systems and try to reset everything. You would have to. Well, you'd have to do a total factory, like reset. Otherwise, it's you lose, you know. lose your Why don't you just wait till I get, why, why don't you just wait till I get there and we can try to figure it out. When are you going to be here? <laughs> I'll be there later on tonight. Okay. Oh, later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
Oh, it would have been so much funnier if he was <laughs> mad at you and hung up. <laughs> <laughs> we could always do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. No. We don't need to be calling our, our various parents and we, prank calling we them. We need to have my dad. <laughs> your dad, your dad's awesome though. He's 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 a crack up. That was perfect timing. Okay, what were we talking about? Um, years well, ago. what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into this, uh, voicemail. Right. That you brought to the table today. That's right. That you got. What was it last it's, night? It's it's our, uh, yeah yeah last night wasn't it? Yeah last night. So we basically Barely. we we both have a I, friend. That, um, he's sort of like a girl in in the fact that he makes you wait. He makes you wait way longer than he. A, a girl he's would. no. He's a total. He's a total dude. Like you can work with him. He'll he'll keep up. You know, as far as as far as all that goes. But when it comes down to like his personal life, everything that he does, it's like the same way a girl would do it. It's the weirdest thing. I mean, he's totally a guy. As soon, but it, he does. He if does. He's got something on his mind. As soon as you get there, he's he's yakking your ear off about it, which yeah. I love about him because yeah. the guy can. He's, he he's takes, hilarious. He takes two hours to get ready for a fifteen minute endeavor. Um, I mean, the list goes on. He he, he is by far. He I lo- he takes the longest yeah. out of, and I've got I've got some friends. That, Man, woman, dog, that to, child doesn't even matter. So yeah, he's, okay. So anyways, uh, Nate. You weren't answering your phone. You were asleep. You were tired. You, yeah, you, you I had was a long dead night. Tired. You I'd had a you working. had a date uh, yeah. the night before. Yeah. And you stayed up. Yeah. With I, I stayed up and then didn't hardly even sleep because I was in some and, stranger's and, bed. So it's well, never yeah, easy yeah. to sleep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you were you were indeed. Yeah. I didn't want to get anyways. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm dead tired. We'll a, we'll ask you all about that. We'll see how far you're, how, how much you're willing to divulge uh, about that subject. It's have to maybe. Be anonymous. But anyways, so eight thirty, Nate's passed out. Yeah, not answering his phone for anything. Especially, I, I put it on silent mode. Silent no vibration. Mode. Silent nothing. mode. And uh, incognito. The following message was was uh, gifted to him the next morning, waiting when he woke up. Mind you, he's dead serious. And her friend's not really retarded. you feel bad uh, homie well, <laughs> <Dick>. <laughs> that's the best dude yeah, I can't get enough of that that's hilarious I love the nonchalant <laughs> the nonchalant tone like, I, I think care. okay I care. before before I thought it was uh, I thought he was crying almost like I thought like um like I thought there was a slight s- sob there, like a hitch, you know, I think in his it was, chest. It was like a yawn, kind of like a, a nervous. But no, you know, I know what it is now. It was like a, it was a sardonic laughter. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he, I bet he was shaking his head when he was doing it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking? Yeah, about? you know, I don't. <laughs> yeah. It, that's what. It, that's exactly what it was. Sardonic laughter. He was shaking his head, and he and he just he gave a little laugh, and then just went dick. <laughs> yeah, hung up. He just cannot believe it. It's so great. How terrible of a friend I am. Oh my god. Like we had Dogs plans. Are going we nuts. had plans. How dare? See, see what I'm saying right there. How this is okay. This is the double standard. This is well, yeah, the double. The standard. dichotomy. This is Jamie for you, but uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. He calls me up. Did that not sound like a pissed off girlfriend? Yeah, it sounded ex- Did it exactly not? like a pissed off girlfriend. Okay. That's my point about James. Actually, to hey. tell you, if I hadn't had to reset my phone, as you would have advised me to do in the situation that I was in, had <laughs> I had you as tech support, <laughs> right. um, I had the greatest 
voicemails from my ex-girlfriend like like <laughs> the most recent one the crazy yeah, they, one. oh yes yes and they were um just just full of love far yeah yeah <laughs> that's exactly what it was, full of Passion love just drives you to just the most great place. far out it, it, Anytime, anytime my phone rang all the way to voicemail, I had to have been fucking somebody else. <laughs> anytime that I did well, not you are race, player, man. race to my phone <laughs> and, and it happened to go to voicemail before I got to it. Yeah. That was it. It was, there was, well, I mean, I actually what else got, I actually doing? got, I don't know where you are, but tell your new girlfriend it, she could fucking have you. Yeah, what else would you be doing, dude? It's not like I know, you there, work I, like 40, I couldn't, 50 hours I couldn't week, be doing you know? anything I, else but anally, probably anally, anally, anally. And I don't know how she knew that. Either, coitally but. inserting into some girl. Some, well, uh, some lucky, some lucky little lass. But no, I, you know, I, uh. What are you gonna do? I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even put Steve. in the crazy category, yeah. like like I would this person, this this ex girlfriend that I'm talking about. Yeah. But, but like you were trying Maybe to say, neurotic, <laughs> neurotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're full. Except that is the word of the day, folks. Shit. Neurotic. He doesn't admit to shit, so maybe not. Yeah. Neurotic. What do you know the exact definition? In my head. That's a beautiful thing. In my head, it is a crazy person. Well, that knows they're crazy. That's neurotic. True crazy really? people, they don't know they're crazy. They think you're crazy. <laughs> they think the voices are real. They is that, think there really is a that's person That's interesting. In the that's the difference, man. That's as far as I know, anyways. If you're neurotic, you know you're crazy. Like OCD, like, oh yeah, I do that all the time. I can't stop, blah, blah, blah. I take pills, blah. You know, you just know you got a problem. I see. It, it basically right. says what you just said. <laughs> Functional mental disorders involving distress, but neither delusions nor hallucinations. Exactly. Therefore, wow, Nate, I gotta have you in here more often because I do have my I, my I stammering say, ass. I'll sit here and go up, 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 up <laughs> and until I come up with a word. I will say I cheated a little bit. My mom is a psych nurse, so uh, yeah. So she's screamed that word at you multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> is what you're telling me? No, I was actually going to say we have very. We've had a lot of intellectual conversations. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. None of which involved screaming and no. throwing of. No. She a, she often will tell my dad's the words that should be used, and he will yell them at me. But she knows. ah, that's yeah. So. Your dad's it's a, a good system. Your right? dad's a yeller. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen him as a laugher. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's a, he's quite a laugher. He's both. <clears throat> okay, so anyways, yeah. the topic at hand that we're we're really trying to discuss here and. I don't want to, you know, it's not like we need to wring it out to dry, but is, is, uh, is the bitchification. That's another good one. Oh, God damn it. I'm getting a phone call and look who the fuck it is. Who's that? Steve. Oh, no. You have to be quiet. I'm not here. I am not here. Okay. It's happening. How are we doing? I'm podcasting. What are you doing? You're watching what? A movie called Newton Chronicles that I bought at uh, Costco. It's uh, Thomas Jane, Ron Perlman, and uh, John Malkovich in it. Oh, I've seen that. It's like a sci fi. It's a sci fi yeah, flick. It's way, it's way like, it's all computer animated pretty much or generated. You know, but it's, it's cool. It's one of those, like, kind of just, uh, kind of cool classic kind of movies. B movie? Yeah, well, but it's supposed to be like that, you know what I mean? Right. It's not real. It's actually, it's not, it has that B movie feel, but it's definitely not B movie. It's got way better graphics than any kind this of B movie. Really before. You know what hours. I mean? But it's definitely, it's that genre, though. Yeah. So, How clever. It's cool as fuck, though. Huh. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's, I guess it's not cool as fuck, but it's, uh, it's cool. I like, I like sci-fi shit, and I like, I like Thomas Jane, he's fucking him. Yeah, I've seen that shit before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, have you ever seen, uh, he did another one, uh, called, uh, 
Yeah. Like there she was in my office waiting for me. Yeah. In a white dress with a, with a little bit of leg showing. I lit up a cigarette and walked in. Yeah, Magnet makes dope ass movies. Didn't they do like Hobo uh, with a Shotgun and and? Uh, yeah, they do all those. And they're, it's, they don't they make them that way. They're they're supposed to. It's yeah, that yeah, kind they're of, it's that, they're like that genre. they're Tarantino esque. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Or uh, you know, uh, oh, here we go. Super Eight style shit or something. You know that kind of fucking weird shit. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. What, uh, so what are you doing, uh, with, uh, summer? Do you do anything? Uh, not immediately. I think we'll, later on, I'll meet up with them. Uh, alright. I'm gonna, I'm, roll it, roll uh, it. I'm gonna wait about 20 more minutes, see if he calls, if he doesn't, then, um, uh, I'm just gonna head out with him up for a little bit or something. Okay. Right, right, and within the next four hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not, you're going to be going, you're not going to hang out with her, not for another four hours, you think? No, I just figured I wouldn't talk to you or see you for another four hours, so. The funny thing is, it's a little, it, it, it could be 20 minutes, or it could be 20 hours. <laughs> but most likely four hours. I, I mix it up, dude. <laughs> uh, not all the time. I do half and half. Half and half. Well. That I do. Okay. Sal. All right. What movie were you guys talking about? I don't know, dude. I, I don't know. He was. I don't know. He, he's talking about some other, some other Quenny ass movie. Oh. Well, that, that wasn't was quite. That wasn't quite, that wasn't quite <laughs> as no. good as uh, the voicemail. But, but you, know. you know, some good background. Yeah, for sure. Um. So damn, have we? Uh, we haven't even touched. Not, not even. We haven't even. We haven't like, even scratched it. Or heavily breathed on it. I know. Basically, I, it's just something that I have. It's a personal struggle of mine. Let's put it that way. I, I want everybody to know where I'm coming from. I am. <clears throat> I'm just a dude trying to figure some shit out for my own self, just trying to live life and, you know, whatever. But, uh, basically, you just know. Just a dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm just a dude. Let's start this out like this. Basically, <laughs> I'm a dude. I turned about 20, 21. He's a dude. She's a dude. Yeah. We're all dudes, yeah. I'm like, what's up? What's up? You know, I'm, I got everything all figured out. You know, I'm. I'm just in charge of shit, you know, being a man and blah, blah, blah. A few years go by, you know, divorce later, kid later, a few family deaths later, blah, 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 blah. I realize I don't know shit. <laughs> you which, know? And which, how do I be a man? To this day, you know? that, that, that is, what is one man? of the smartest things that I've yeah. ever figured out is that yeah. I don't know shit. It's the only thing I do know. <laughs> uh -huh. and, oh, and you're going to die. Uh, you do know that also. Yeah. It shouldn't be death and taxes. It should be fucking taxes and ignorance. <laughs> that's what it should be. Yeah. That's what it should be. I've never heard it put like that. Or, or uh, that's good. Or de death, taxes, and, and ignorance. But um, anyways, I'm flustered. I'm just thinking. You about could this. you could go up in the mountains for a couple years and avoid taxes, but they'd probably still eventually. Or you could do what we do. You could never come back. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I I I'm not really sure. What it is you're referring to? Because I am a a, a tax paying. I think they country. call it playing footsie. I I am it's a under uh, the table, you know. <laughs> I am a. Uh, <laughs> I just derailed your whole thing. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm sorry. Footsie. It says that is that what's been rubbing against my toes all this whole time? Okay. There's not even a table here. But but, but what you're saying is is dudes are becoming bitches. 
Well, and uh, yeah, yeah, and let, I just want to reaffirm a few things here. First of all, when we when we say bitch, I'm not talking about anything with gender. It has nothing to do with gender. I'm right. talking about men just not and, stepping up and taking their place. And if you're a, if you're a woman, place. if you're a woman and you did and you do think it that no, it think, is about gender, about quit it. being a bitch. Think about it. It's like the average guy. It's common these days for dudes 30 years old to not have a job, to not work, to sit on their ass and do nothing. Correct. What the correct. fuck is that? <laughs> Wait, how how are they able to do this? Um cuz well, I, I want to They wanna they leech the off book. of other people. They live uh, with their parents, they live with their girlfriend, they live I, and we're talking about guys right now. You know. I thought we were talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we work at least. Okay, yeah, that's You know. The one um <clears throat> And yeah, basically, you know, you, you look around, it's so common, you know, yeah, yeah, dude, I'm, yeah, girls, you know, they got their own thing. I was married for four years, and I don't think I ever have a, yeah, whatever, I'm not, you know what, I already crossed the line there. We're talking about men here, remember? So, anyways, that's my point, dude, it's just like, here I am, young man, I got some shit thrown at me, and I'm like, wow, I really don't know what to do. My dad doesn't know what to do either. That's my first, you know, option. I'm gonna go ask my dad. What the hell? You yeah, know? and and I'll stop you right there. Yeah. That was that was one of that was the one of the greatest learning experiences of my life was when I was going through a big problem, yeah. and I went to the one person who I know is is the smartest dude that I know, <clears> and it's my dad who yeah. who you know whose opinion totally. I respect, and it was a big problem as as Nate cracks open his <laughs> cold on the outside, warm on the inside <laughs> beers that spent about three minutes in the freezer. Um, it, it and I, you know, it was a big problem. It was something he'd never experienced, even at his age. And he just looked at me and said, "Fuck, I don't know." Yeah, you know. I and, mean, that's basically what I and, got too. And it wasn't, it wasn't like a blow to my opinion of my dad. Yeah. It was, it was a, it was a, a realization. A realization. Of the, way the world is. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It was like, yeah, you know, your dad, and you know, basically, if somebody could have figured it out, he probably would have figured it out or at least known you know what to do about it right you know, right where yeah to go we are to getting off the subject but i like the way we're going mm. so we'll come back to whatever we need to yeah um just now again. that i just pointed it out like a dickhead and just put the brakes on the whole organization <laughs> um basically yeah i mean that that was my you know that's where i was going with it though i got to a point where i didn't know what the fuck to do and i had nowhere to turn i had absolutely nowhere you know and here I am trying to trying to figure out what to do and do it as a man. Do it, you know, with and, and, and integrity. To clarify basically. things. To do it as a man, I say, like to do it with integrity. Do it the right way, because I am a man. Basically, right. bottom line. But Not are right. you saying that women do it the wrong way without integrity? No, no, no. I'm saying if if I was a man and I did it as a woman, I'd you're... be doing it the wrong way. <laughs> if you're a woman and you're doing it as a man, you're doing it the wrong way. If you're a woman doing it as a woman, okay, well, good you know, shit. you know, there's a there's a that's perfect. A transgender fighter that they're letting fight in MMA now, that used to be a man. We're talking about men and women. And became a woman. There's a whole other species out there. I mean, there's turtles, <laughs> okay. there's frogs. You know, let's not get into the entire planet. <coughs> We're just talking about men right now. Trans, trans species. That's gonna be the next one. <laughs> next. It's time. not gonna the the identity thing. They're gonna be like, instead of, you know, I I feel like I was a woman born in a man's body. It's gonna be like. You know what? I feel like I'm a zebra born in a woman's body. <laughs> I need to get me yeah, some motherfucking that? stripes. <laughs> why not that? You know? I need to get some hooves and some stripes, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I, I, I bet you watch. Give it, give it, it a twenty years. Happen. Twenty Dude, years. People get bored trans, with trans the species. transgender shit, and they'll do trans trans species. They That's will. what I'm saying. They'll get so, bored eventually. So yeah, you know, I was really at a point. And I just realized, well, I'm just gonna have to figure it out on my own. And you know, it's been, it was probably from the time I was a young kid, you know, 18, 20 or so, to right. the time I realized, shit, I, I can't do this, to now, it's been, I don't know, about five years to that point where it broke, and then about another five years to now. And one of the main things I've learned, you know, and, you know, prior or after the broken time or whatever, that, you know, rock bottom whatever you want to call it, is being a man, one of the main things is figuring it out on your own, you know? Doing doing it for yourself. Doing it on your own. Just figure, being who you are. You right. Know, just doing it. You know, that was just a one little minor thing that I figured out. 
But I mean, I don't know. That's just one thing, you know. And I mean, what about you? Like, as far as like what you've learned, I mean, like, you know, like the, man, the thing like, about it is like, like, I got that, dude. I, I'm I a man see, I can yeah, do that I see what you mean <laughs> you know? by like as a man, because on like to be honest, men and women are completely we different, are different, think completely. differently, completely. built differently, completely. And uh, so I, I get what you're saying by like, it's almost like a could almost like narrow it or, or broaden it to like mm-hmm. uh feel like I'm accomplished as a human being or like because you know you are a man but like yeah. do you I see I see what you mean and and uh it's uh I don't know it's it's more it is it is more of a macho thing well I it's think. it's partly a think... macho thing but at the same time it's almost like maybe I'll be a doctor because my grandfather was a doctor I know I got a knack for it you uh-huh. know it obviously runs in our family. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Right. And so it's like, I know I'm going to do it this way because that's the way a man would do it, and I'm a man. So it's going to be natural for me. You know? If I figure out how men do things, (laughs) then I'm going to have an easier time. Dude, if I walk into a bar and try to pick up a date like a girl does, how's that going to work out? You know? How's that going to work out for me? Uh, I don't know. You might might find find yourself a a sweet little... uh... (laughs) 280 pound power lifting girlfriend <laughs> like yeah. you know one that not not has a mullet but like has has a rat tail you know you ever seen a, a yeah. woman with a rat tail and sleeveless shirt that's who you're getting <laughs> the headphones are coming off uh, yeah Nate's done <laughs> god no he's s- bowing s- okay, okay seriously <laughs> for real seriously what I'm saying what I'm saying is we are all we're all made one way, you know, and men are men, and we all naturally do things a certain way. And if we build on our strengths, we're going to be better people. If we build on our weaknesses, we're not going to be as, as good as we ever could have been. And all I'm saying is naturally, men are, you know, our, our main thing, there's man, and mainly different about men and women. One thing I can say is we're strong, and they're beautiful. You know what I mean? They got like this beauty thing going on. And men have like a little bit more strength, you know, body, as far as body, you know, it goes and, and the body affects the mind, you know, I mean, you that grow was, up, that you, was a genius. <laughs> like it was so simple. It you was know what I'm so saying? You simple. Go, if you grew up brilliant. as Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> I bet you're going to have no complex about being a pussy. You know, I, let's just say Arnold Schwarzenegger popped out as a bodybuilder, you know, and he was benching 400 pounds in sixth grade. You would have no complex about being wimpy. So you you your brain your brain would would change because of that. So I mean that saying that you know that's all I'm getting into right there. I think I could take Schwarzenegger. To, <laughs> does that mean I don't have a wimpy well, complex? <laughs> I, I think now maybe. Now? Yeah, now he's, he's still like huge. seventy-five. Is he that old? I don't think so, but he's been around for a long fucking time. Yeah, those when guys. I was like those a child, big muscular we guys get tired quick. With him in it. But seriously, dude, it's like, I'm not going to get any more into that, but I mean, naturally, that's that's the one thing I think everybody can agree on. That's scientific. We can, we can measure that, you know, men have more muscle in their body naturally than women. That's all I'm going to say about <laughs> that. And right, yeah. I'm already steering off. We're just talking about men here. That's all we're talking about. It's hard to separate I don't, men I, and women. You know it is. <laughs> no, okay, I'm We're talking about way. men. I could. I, I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so all I'm saying is all these like natural things. Like that's what I was getting at. Like you know, we got these natural strengths as men, and we need to build on the natural strengths. It's like I'm not gonna go into a job interview and and play off of one of my weaknesses. Like it's like yeah, um, I'm definitely not gonna go into a job interview at like a a school and or or a daycare and uh, talk about how how comfortable kids feel around me and how I just can fit right in with all of them there and I'm just so non-threatening yeah I wouldn't recommend you know I mean? doing that until you grow a mustache <laughs> fuck it let's talk about music yeah no shit <clears throat> those were yeah. not technical difficulties <laughs> no um, I, I love music dude Love music. Yeah, that, what I'm trying, what I've been trying to say, uh, is, is we, like, music 
transcends so many levels that yeah. like even though we've been friends for a long time or or, or you know acquaintance yeah. even though we haven't seen each other or hadn't seen each other for mm-hmm. what over like five years probably yeah, longer like picked right back up and m- m- most of our topics of discussion were either talking about our old high school partying yeah. days or talking about music mm-hmm. and I'd say at this point it's about 80 percent is <laughs> talking about music <laughs> Yeah, for so, sure. So it's just some it's something that connects people. Like, uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a huge part of my life too. I know that like if I'm working out of town, like I like I was in Tahoe for a long time, and anytime I'd be at a bar for a long enough time, mm-hmm. and they have an internet jukebox, I put Tom Waits on. Yeah, and. <clears throat> If somebody came up to me in the bar and was like, dude, did you put Tom Waits on? I knew <laughs> that he wasn't going to be like, fuck you, Tom Waits sucks. Yeah. He was going to be like, dude, that's awesome. And, and then automatically I had a best yeah, friend. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it, totally. And it was just, I don't know. It's just it's the actually way. a good idea. Man. <laughs> that, I didn't do it to make friends, but I did it. And then, you know, it just... Just find out who your real real friends are before you even meet them. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> that's, that's like the number one test is perfect. like, does this guy know... Do they know who Tom Waits are? Okay. <laughs> we can be friends. Do they respect him as as the god that awesome. he is? <laughs> yes, yes, we can be friends. <laughs> no, like, fucking... Yeah, dude. It's a... Uh, you know, it's... It, just come on with it, man. Let it rain. <laughs> Make it rain, man. It's a... Uh, as much as as much like as, as shitty music puts me in physical pain, <laughs> I know that I, I know that it has to it has to exist. It, yes, because dude, Can if, be if like everybody that, that was was a fan of of music that I that I think is really intelligent and original and smart, right. if every if if some dumb fuck, you know, was like <laughs> just some just some guy with like the stickers on his hat still. And and uh, the, the sticker on his hat and the, on the hat it says "I love haters." Those ones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The heart is in diamonds. Oh Jesus! Those Christ. guys, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Go on about I the douchebaggery for the first time. A couple days oh, ago. that's an that's an existing hat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yes, that guy. I forgot I forgot what I was talking about just because I hate that guy so much. Just the the physical pain it puts you into being that category with music. Yeah. If, there has if to be that the guy, music, dude. if that guy was a the guy that came up to you in the was bar, an Aesop Tom Rock Wade. fan. No, I'm talking about I love haters hat sticker yeah. sticker hat. If I'm saying guy, if he was the guy that came up to it, you in the bar. There you go. Yes, yes. Yeah. Jesus. Go on with it. What, what would happen, dude? If that guy, <laughs> then it, it would depress me. Exactly. I'd be like, no, you know, I think the same way that this guy does. You would probably, music. yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 but yeah, see, that's the thing about music is it expresses, it expresses things inside you that words alone will not, they just, they aren't good enough for, you know, it adds a whole nother level of expression and communication, it's just like art, it's just like anything else, just like art, writing. oh yeah, he's a good guy, <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Arthur, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, no, no, seriously, there's just, you know, it puts you puts you in a certain category. You know, whoever you listen to. I mean, it it says something about you. You right. know, it's like let's say if you, I'm a rock climber. Well, that's gonna tell me a few things about you. You're probably in good shape. Probably don't smoke. Have a strong grip. <laughs> Got a strong grip. <laughs> probably good with your rope. <laughs> Real good with your rope. <laughs> and uh, you know. You and know you got saying? a lot of fucking free time on your hands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me go climb a mountain. And, you know, if, if some dude comes up to me and says, hey, man, Tom Waits is shit, you know, it's, it's going to tell me something about that guy. You know? So I think yeah, it was a that's wise what I decision hope, that's to what make I hope friends ha- that way. Yeah, that's what I hope happens I'm with my do music. Next weekend. I don't want any idiot fans. If it's exactly. between having 100,000 people that know know who I am and, and 80% of them are Quality fucking idiots, over 20. then... Yeah, I take twenty solid fans that, that fucking that, oh, yeah. that go, hey, dude, remember Especially when, when you said that line? That was really sick. This is the way I interpreted it. Blah blah blah. You know, I had, a, I had a dude at, at a gas station just just come up and, and recite one of my lines to me in Redmond. Really? And uh, oh yeah, I lived there. It's not like I was just passing through Redmond. Well, uh, yeah, I knew that. No, Still. And, and 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 he's like, dude, he's all fucking. He's like, that line is sick. And then I started thinking, about it, I was like, I never really thought about it before. That line is fucking sick. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And uh, happens to me all the time. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, hindsight is twenty twenty. True. Yeah. See. Then again, that guy was kind of a dumbass too. Yeah. So maybe I'm just pandering to the to the majority, and I'm not even knowing it. Maybe the machines already got me. I don't know. Could be. But anyways. Feel like I keep repeating myself. Uh, <laughs> thanks for thanks for chilling, bullshitting. Come back next for weekend. Sure. It's a lot funner with with more than one person, Anytime. not me just yapping. Um, we're signing off for the night. You're welcome. Uh, SoundCloud.com/slash Admire Music. Uh, Twitter.com/slash Danny Admire. That's me, bitches. Fuck you. Good night. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> 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 <laughs>